What's up, everybody? It's Swordfish and Azim. Or Azim. It could be Azim. We were talking about how vowels are shifty, especially on nicknames the other day. I started saying Azim because people started calling me Ozzy. That's okay. Swordfish and Azim. It's Saturday morning. It's uncompromising, uncompromising mode time. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Grudge. Shout out to Eternal Grudge. Good morning to you, Fanatic. Oh, I should change the uh, thing here. Look at that. I caught it just in time. Eternal Grudge rocks. Fanatic rocks too. How are you doing, Fanatic? You ready to play some uncompromising mode this morning? I have, uh, I feel like I have a lot to talk about today. I saw a high school production of Hamlet last night, and I have thoughts about high school productions. I have thoughts about Shakespeare. I have thoughts about Hamlet. Uh, of course, I have thoughts about uncompromising mode. Um... Uh, today's uh, password is, in fact, going to be Hamlet in honor of the high school production of Hamlet that I uh, sat through last night. Um, and let me just say this. Let me just say this. It is not okay for a high school to do a three-hour production of Hamlet. Or anything. Three hours is too long for a high school play. Two and a half hours, absolute max. Two hours to two hours, 15. With a 15-minute intermission. Fine. An hour and a half, honestly. You can't do Hamlet an hour and a half. I get that. But they didn't cut anything. And everybody cut something. They did the exact original. As you can see, I'm a little... I'm a little exercised about this. I do have thoughts. I do have thoughts. But uh, Swordfish, you may have thoughts too. Not about Hamlet, because you were not there. You were you were uh, still coming back from your field trip. Your excursion. Excursion. I want to say it like Quakes would say it. Excursion. Mm -hmm. I don't have the accent. Your excursion. Uh, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I feel like I'm, you know, I haven't had any, uh, not like, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't sniff any Coke this morning or anything. I'm, I'm. This is just natural high. I'm on a natural high. How are you doing? Um, mid. 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 Oh, teenage boys. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I'm in, people. I get in here. I, on the other hand, have thoughts. Mid. About our field trip. Oh yes, you went to. Uh, this was somewhere interesting. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, sure. We went to San Jose. It science that had dead bodies. A science museum that had dead bodies. And to freak out by that. Very gross. Uh, they showed us, you know, it, they, it, let's say, um, the beginning was really cool. We got to go to an amphitheater that had a, um, one of those giant ones where, like, you sit in the chair and then, like, the entire wall in front of you, it goes above you, too. Like a, know, like a giant IMAX type Yeah, an IMAX. Screen? An IMAX screen. Yeah. Okay. It goes all the way over you. Sometimes they recline your chair back. This one didn't. But giant screen. I saw, like, this whole movie film about mushrooms. That part was cool. What? A movie film about mushrooms? Rudge is here for it. Well... It was interesting because we learned a lot of things about mushrooms, including the fact that four mushrooms have been found like, very recently that have been found able to break down and consume plastic. Four mushrooms, four, four, types. four types of mushrooms have been found recently that are able to break down and consume plastic. Okay. Which could be very important. Fascinating. Yeah, that could be useful someday. Um, I think I'm gonna eat this damn candy. Uh, we also, and after that, we went and actually, you know, did stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of interact. It's an interactive museum, so uh, there's there's a lot of like games, exercises that you can do. Uh, for example, one of them was uh, there, there's three levels, and if you go down a level, you can be in a Place. There's like um, 
three giant screens in front of you. They're not too big, good sized. And you can scan your ticket, and your ticket will allow you to play the games. And one of them is, you know, go against your friend, and you're like trying to jump the most in a certain amount of time, balance the longest. There's there's a lot of different ones, but the main part is the dead bodies, which. Or, now, were these actual human yes. bodies? Like real people, dead bodies? Yes. Interesting. Uh, we learned all about the process of plastination. Plastination? I, I don't know that word. What, uh... Plastination is the process of uh, preparing a body to survive indefinitely. A dead body. A dead body. So taking a dead body and preparing it so that it will just stick and around. And it's a little bit gross, so I'm not going to fill in all the details. Basically, they use acids to get rid of the fat, water, stuff. Okay. Um, and and they fill the blood, then, then, then they fill all the uh, cells, liquid, or what it was. It's, it's Some kind of formaldehyde it. preservative? Yeah. Uh, but then they arranged the body into a... So we actually were looking at dead bodies that had been fascinated. There's a whole... So where they started is in Germany. There's a whole factory in Germany that did this. They took donations of bodies for, you know, science people. Um, okay. And then they shut it down because they got 15,000 donations in under a month. Wow. So, There's a lot of dead bodies. Yeah. So, um... They were renting out, loaning um, four or five of them no. for 10 years. That's not okay. What? Oh, All right, I just chest. put that chest in the wrong I know, spot. I see that. Um, okay. Gotta fix that. And yeah, they had positioned them and we, we got to look at some of them. That was uh, gross. So your uh, class, you've probably got, I don't know, 20... 20 people in your class, maybe maybe a little more. 22. 22 people. Okay. So what um, would you say the ratio was among your classmates to this is gross in a cool way versus gross in just a gross way? Like, did people like it? Did you did you like it? Thank did you. Did you enjoy it? I mean, I didn't enjoy it, but I didn't, like, hate it. I did think you, he was, like, I'm just a... Did you find it interesting it's and just educational? A thing. Not find education. You didn't. And a lot of people got really. Uh, I mean, it seems like a, you would have learned a lot of. I mean, uh, just you talking. I, I have learned well, a lot of things. The real gross part was we we did a lab with some people. Like there, there was a scientist who did a lab with us, and uh, they used they you know we got to use the acid that they used to take down fat and water. Okay. Um. You actually did stuff. We did stuff, and one of the, one of the things that we did was we uh, used a suction tube and we put water in a tube. Oh, I heard their ass. Oh shit! What do we gotta do? Um, but we we saw a or we got to suction out. We put an airtight container around a small thing of water then suctioned out all the air and the water bubbled up or we sucked out all the pressure and the water boiled. Um, and we also did that with a marshmallow. Marshmallow? Yes, and it's very interesting. If you put the marshmallow in and you start suctioning out the pressure, the marshmallow starts to inflate. And right. it gets really big. And then it deflates back to its normal size, and then when you repressurize it, uh-oh, when, when you uh, repressurize it by acting, you know, by releasing that thing that's holding the pressure back, huh? um, it has something very interesting. It shrivels up to a very tiny, tiny size. Marshmallow. Yes. So it hyperinflates, but then it over-deflates. Really over -deflates. Entirely. Hmm. And then 
the real gross thing was we saw they showed us a liver an actual human liver okay they did and they were like look at how all these parts connect. the liver parts this you know i mean i get that um it's a little bit of a weird kind of field trip but it sounds to me like you had the kind of experience that like nobody else would get unless they like went to medical school or something like that mm -hmm. and and i would say oh shoot sanity right sanity sanity sanity, sanity. I, I mean i would say that that's um you know for somebody your age to be able to have that experience uh, is very good pretty cool can I get in a tent during this electrical rain? If I do that, what's going to happen? If you get hit by the... Ah. I see. I see. And I don't have enough hunger to get in the tent anyway. But, oh, there's some... Uh, I just remembered there's some small jerkies. So, I don't know. This is... um. Honestly, it sounds like a cool... Cool field trip. I congratulate your teacher for being... Where is this rod coming from? Rod is being dropped on our base from afar. In Garak. Yeah. Uh, oh, somebody ate the jerky? Okay. Monster jerky it is. No, that's worse for my sandwich. Shoot. Okay, but I can, I can get in. She won't let me sleep because I'm... Uh, yeah. I'm bad. Okay. Okay. If I defeat you... Yeah, we are probably going to get rats. Our base was so clean, and then this uh, this crap came along to, to cleanse us, if you will. Know. I'm in the cave. That's probably smart, honestly. Okay, that's helpful. That's helpful. If I fight better, it would be even better. Okay, okay, that's too. That's too. Uh, ooh, I could kill you. I should kill... Uh, it looks like it's just about over. Here, you guys come here. You're gonna be my dinner. Yeah, you too. Hey, where are you going? Coward. You coward. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. I think that... The field trip you've described sounds really cool, and I'm very impressed by uh, your your teacher being willing to, to do something like that. So, um, first part was the best. Uh, but what what I know that nobody else knows is that the side effect, because your your mom was one of the drivers. Oh shh! Okay. Okay. No. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotta survive. Buzz? Uh, is that I had to go to Hamlet. The original mm. uh, plan was that oh. she was going to go to Hamlet. Walked into that. This is a bad place for this, because all these trees make it even harder to see. Harder than it usually is. Like I'm walking right from one into the other. I think, I think actually, oh shoot, and now I got the dread eye. Yeah, I think I've got to run and think about this during the daytime. Okay, okay, because I can put on a helmet now. Um, I have zero sanity. My health is shot. Watch out for that dread eye. It can't. Two dread eyes. I got two dread eyes. My sanity I'd is get zero. In the tent. You what? I'd get in the tent. It's daytime. Can't get in the tent. And I have no food anyway. I have no hunger.
top. Red eyes are gonna get me. I could fight the frickin' I could fight the terror beaks, but the dread eyes are gonna get me. Yeah, they're just chipping away at me. This is terrible. Ah! Two health, two health, two health, two health, two health. I can I if I lure these to you, can you fight off these terror beaks? Um Oh, I'm dead. I have I I'm starving now. Yep, there I go. Shit. Okay, well I could use the um I've never used a meat effigy before. Maybe I want to, though. I guess if you're right here. Can you reactivate me real quick? Well, I got it I'm out sure of the I... way. I got I got it out of the way. You know, normally it takes a while for me to die. I got it out of the way today. I guess this gives me a moment to uh, say hello to everybody. We are playing on compromising mode. Me, Swordfish, our friend Fanatic is here uh, somewhere. Uh Oh. No, that, so there's the two of us. Mm, I don't see Fnatic. Maybe he's down in the caves. Uh, no, he's not. You see him? In the swamp. In the swamp. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. I, I, just in, missed I him. instantly found him. I don't know. I'm blind. Uh, anyway. Maybe this gives me more time to talk about my thoughts. Not amulet. We don't need an amulet. We need not, a, a not. telltale heart. Do we have uh, the? Well, I'm just gonna use the meat effigy so I can play. Unless you, unless you can get a gland real fast. Ah, uh, no. All right, but... meat effigy. It is. Let's see what the impact of this is. I mean, I died right here, so it's perfect. Uh, no, but I restore with very low health. Rel relatively speaking. All right, can, can you steal his we meat to, effigy? We need what? What'd you say? I attune myself to fanatic. <laughs> but you're attuned to your effigy. I could. I see. Uh, okay. Well, positive of this is that I can hammer this skeleton and get. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have though. Uh, if we get spider glands, okay. We need to clean up here. That does not go in there. Wait, I'm insane again? Okay, no. No, 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 no. Oh. I'll risk the hunger. We've this got, really is the best 10 skin. We've got some base clean. Yeah. Rot first. Like, burn all the rot. I was going to, in fact, put the rot on the ground and then see if I can use the... Yeah, there you go. Cheat. The cheat to pick up more rot. What? Just put it on the ground and then do uh, action cue. Okay. All right. That whole thing started when I was oh. placing chests. Fanatic? Wait. Fanatic's wearing a top hat. Looks very jaunty. I just teleported back to it, but... Teleported. Ah, uh, there nice. we go. Yeah, I was confused. It no longer requires... Uh, gems per teleport. Instead, it costs gems to make it. What does? The sorcerers... It requires gems. So if you have a telelocator's focus... Wait, you can, and you can select the destination with the sorcerer staff? Wow. Increased and And increase the uses? So easy teleportation home anytime you want it. That's uh, OP. We should all get... Got any purple should, gems, guys? We should get ourselves one of those. Well, they don't work in the caves. But got any purple gems? I uh, doubt we have any purple gems. Remember, base cleanup. I'm not done with that project yet. Right, you can make a purple gem from red and blue, of course. What have we ever figured out what to do with this moon tier? 
It's just sitting over there. And I, I literally have no idea what to do with it. He teleported away when the tornado started at camp. Down quill float advert. That's smart. Teleporting away is smart. All right, I need to be thinking neat. I need to go. I need to go find. Furry some uses. Well, I want to try that. Change, change Lee, change Lee Sue. How you doing? We're doing fine. Talk to me about uh, pronouncing your name. I want to. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. I could just call you change. Oh, we could choose where to teleport, but since we have the telekinetic focus, we always teleport. Gotcha. Oh. It's actually 10 uses. It says 30 uses, but it uses three uses per. So it's 10 uses only. No need. Okay, cool. Well, how are you doing, change? Are you a DST? DST player. We are uh, playing uncompromising mode, which is um, hard. Let, I'm just going to say hard. There's a lot of dying. There's a lot of dying, but it is fun. We are learning a lot. As part of the, you know, dying process. Thank you. Earthquake provides. I have what? A mole worm for me to eat. Mm. It was delicious. Before you started playing Don't Starve Together, you are playing uh, Solo Don't Starve. Yeah, that's how we got into it, too. We were playing uh, regular Solo Don't Starve for a couple of years before we discovered Don't Starve Together. Uh, I'm Azim. I play with Swordfish. Swordfish is my son. And then anybody else can join us who wants to. Our friend uh, Fanatic is in here. And um, yeah, it sounds like we went through about the same kind of path that you went through in terms of regular or, or vanilla Don't Starve to Reign of Giants. And then eventually to... I guess we played Shipwrecked along the way. And then eventually discovered Don't Starve together. Uh, nowadays, we pretty much all only play Don't Starve Together. We don't... I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I played solo. Even if I'm playing alone, I'm I'm playing Don't Starve Together alone. You can't play Shipwrecked? Because of uh, computer things or something else? Hmm, I need to find food. Where am I most likely to do that? Maybe upstairs, but I'll go to a different upstairs. Shipwrecked is too hard. Shipwrecked is hard. Um, I think, personally, sanity, maintaining sanity, is much harder in Shipwrecked than in regular Don't Starve or Don't Starve Together. Uh, when those rains start coming in Shipwrecked, it is... They are, they are brutal. Honestly, they are brutal. Like the the rainy season, the monsoon season, whatever they're called, I can't remember exactly. I have never been good at shipwrecked. Hamlet, we have not played. Um, Swordfish knows a little bit about it. I know almost nothing about it. Um, we picked it up. We 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 grabbed oh, a copy wow. the last time it went on sale. So I am excited to learn about it in the future. Ah. Ooh, am I going to find tall? It's tall birds would be. Maybe I just dig this guy up and. Oh, he's not there. There you are. They have a Hamlet mod for Don't Starve Together now? For real? What's it called? 
No, you jerk off. That was my dinner. Now I'm going to tank the hell out of you. Okay, well, I guess I got back an extra. Because I got back what he took and the bat wing. It's just called Hamlet. Is it good? I heard that somebody was making a Hamlet mod for Don't Starve Together. Uh, but I hadn't heard that it was out. Nice. We will check that out. These monster morsels suck. Have you ever played, uh... Have you ever played Uncompromising Mode? Hounds. Oh, no. Are they going to be the... Yes. And we're in the middle of the tour. Okay, yeah. I'm going to, um... Wait. It's raining where you are? It's... I have no weather. Okay, but I do see hounds. I'm going down to the caves. I'm not going to deal with it. In Don't Starve, do you play the old man with the glasses? Uh, Wagstaff? That guy? Wagstaff has started showing up a lot in Don't Starve Together. I've ne he, So Wagstaff is in Hamlet, right? Uh, so I've never played him because we haven't done the Hamlet as we were just talking about. Um... He has a teleport umbrella. That sounds lunatic. All right. So what I went upstairs to look for food. I came back down. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Did you come down to the caves too, Swordfish? Yeah. I see you. See you on my mini map. Oh, yeah. We're right next to each other. Well, that's not, yeah, not even an accident, because I went up this cave entrance looking for food, and then I decided to come back down when the hounds uh, announced themselves, shall we say. Right here. When you play Don't Starve Together, change, who do you play? Well, I didn't want to do hounds, because I was getting hit by the magic lightning at the same time I was throwing back my bow. I lost did you just say drawing back your bow? Or my slingshot. Right, you're playing Because it Wixie, takes, who's it takes got... time to use your slingshot, but when you're getting hit slingshot. by magic lightning, it just cancels. Understood, understood. Um, okay. I'm going to head back this way. Are you... Oh, you're following me because I'm giving you light? Is that what's yeah. happening here? Do you not have a headlamp or anything? Oh, shit. Oh! I, I was not paying attention. But you know what? Dinner. More dinner. Ice. Actually, that's great. I'm very happy about that. The green mushroom. Wait, where? Evan's just over here. Oh, yeah. I went the wrong way. What is Phase Wild? Uh, this so this is a mod um, in the ruins. Uh, you probably know this. Uh, in the ruins, you go through phases. There's uh, Phase Calm, Phase uh, Warn, Phase Dawn, and Phase um, Wild. I believe is is what the four of them are. And uh, I. Uh, have a mod installed that basically just tells you whenever you're in the caves, it tells you what phase the ruins are in and how long is left in it. It's a little bit of a cheat mod. Um, and it, I would say actually more than a little bit because because of it, I've never actually learned how to tell, you know, the signs of the different phases. You come back after 10 minutes. Okay. Take your time. We'll see you when you, uh, when you make it back. Wait, the beasts are approaching. What? Okay, well, they're here now. There are three electric hounds hanging out by Pig King. Uh, you may want to go right back down. I have time. Calm, warning, nightmare, and ending. Uh, yeah, phase calm is calm. Phase dawn 
phase as is, is the warning phase, right? Phase wild is the nightmare phase. I'm dead. I got You just got you got wrecked. Yeah. Uh, and I got claustrophobia. Yeah, sorry about that. You you got the bats and the, the you really got screwed there, swordfish. I you. <laughs> uh okay, so wait a minute. Phase Now I'm now I'm obsessed with this. Phase calm, phase dawn, phase wild and what's the what's the one I'm forgetting? What's the actual names of this? Phase worn, phase calm, phase worn, phase wild, phase dawn. Uh, uh, right, and that's the order that you you just put them in. Okay, so I don't. If I come back up, am I gonna die immediately? No, I threw him a little bit away. Okay, and I'm gonna come back up. Yeah, I think you've got the right order. Calm. Phase calm is calm. Phase warn is warning. Uh, phase wild is the nightmare phase. And phase dawn is the ending phase where, you know, it's still trouble. It's just not as much trouble. Okay, I think. Yep. Oh, there's one. There's one. Coming back. Because you're dead. They're actually going fanatic warning. Our pet's about okay, to be destroyed. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, gold. There goes our pet. Our pet's our at pets. 800 health. What pet? Fanatic! Our pet. What pet? What are you talking about? Oh, the Snapdragon? Huh? Uh, here. Let me... Oh, sh... Wow. The Snapdragon killed them all. No. Not a kid. Oh. Good job, Fanatic. Help me. I don't want to use my thing. I gotta thing. find... I gotta make food. Gotta make food. Gotta make food. Oh, honey ham. Thank you, provider. I will return the favor. Nope. Hmm. We have nothing? There we go. Okay. Ooh. That was all a little intense. You, how are you doing? Uh, I, uh, for the first time in a while, I'm feeling not too bad about our chess game. Of course, I usually say that, and then you spring something on me that just absolutely wrecks me. So, uh... You know, this could be the beginning of the end for me. But but at the moment, I'm feeling okay about things. Well, that's good. I know Hollow Knights is a silly gimmick, and it's weird that it's still going on in early December. But if the candy's here, and Wigford's allowed to eat it for sanity and health, I'm going to do it. Why not? We need to create more threat defense. Oh, I need to create more uh, uh, threat. Defense of chess is stressful. Yeah, it is. It is. I usually play a very aggressive style too. Like, like I'm, I'm all about trade off the early pieces and get down to the moving around for the, the second half of the mid game end game. I know it's not great for the longer games that we're playing, but it's it tends to be a good strategy for the 10-minute games that I usually play. Like, you're the only one I'm playing a long game with right now, but I play probably... I don't know, I, pro I probably play 15, 10-minute games a day. 150 minutes of chess a day? No, because they don't all last 10 minutes. They're just, they're 10, what I mean by a 10 minute game is a game where each side has a 10 minute timer. Theoretically, it could last as long as 20 minutes, but I would say most of them do tend to last less than 10 minutes. Right. 
Because if I have 10 minutes and you've got 10 minutes, that's 20 minutes. Plus, there's that whole thing if where you move, you get back at you. Uh, no, not in these games. Yeah, what is this? Salsa Fresca. Ooh, that's good for, uh... You can't? That's true. You're right. Sorry, Wiggy. Also. You play 3-2. Remind me how the 3-2 works. How does the time work on those? Oh, this is spider gland. Okay, I can use that spider gland to make another telltale heart, I think. Oh, frog rain, frog rain, frog rain, frog rain. Okay, there's a telltale heart. Put that in there. Oop. Hmm. Will they let me go in a tent during frog rain? Yes. Does the frog know I'm here? That frog is confused. Three minute game, every move bonuses you two seconds. Interesting. I'm gonna try that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep, okay, okay, okay. I was prepared for the hunger, I was not prepared for the frog, but that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. I don't need to be hanging around here during the frog rain anyway. Three minute game, every move bonuses you two seconds. I like that. I'm going to try one of those. I finally learned the rhythm of playing on the, the Blitz games, the 10-minute games on chess.com. When I started, you know, I, I came in with whatever initial ranking they gave me, and I just plummeted because I was um, really struggling with the interface on my phone for some reason. And, uh, and then other things. Uh, but finally, I've gotten that under control. Uh, so now I'm recovering my, my ranking. I imagine I'd go through the same thing with the 3-2, but, which is fine. Because I don't, you know, it's not like I'm in competition with anybody. I don't, except for whoever I'm playing. Hmm. What do I want to do down here? You know what? I should go get more red mushrooms while I'm down. Well, no, I don't have to, because we've got these. Thank you, whoever came in and was Wormwood. I can't remember who that was. Was that Lemonade? Lemonade came in and Wormwooded for us. Good job, Lemonade. Shout out to Lemonade. See if we can do that. Oh. Right. Shout right out to Lemonade. Shout out to Lemonade. I haven't really figured out, to be honest, I have not really figured out what I'm doing today. I mean, in the game. Like, what is my... What is my goal today, other than surviving and, you know, not dying more than once? And I've already done that. My goal used to be not dying at all during the uncompromising mode streams, but that seems uh, to never work. So maybe I'm just resetting more realistic goal of only dying once. Burfish, do you have any goals? What are your goals? Do you have gold? Why are we still have frogs here? He spawn you dang frogs. Of 
Birdfish, are you dead? Mm-hmm. Why? Okay. Uh, how'd you die? Died. <laughs> Remember, I got the stun lock. No, I. I must have been down in the cave. I, I know. Time. It was the hound attack. You're still dead from the hound attack? I didn't. I didn't not using. It. I have a telltale heart. Okay, leave base so the frogs despawn. How about that? <laughs> Fair. And then uh, I can revive you. I had no idea you were dead. This whole time. Okay. Now, once the frogs are gone, I will revive you. Swordfish is over there. I looked over and he's playing chess. Are you, what kind of game are you doing? Are you doing a 3-2? Swordfish, we're talking to you. Like seriously, respond. I mean, I left base. Uh, okay. I want to be revived. I'm coming back to base. Probably one which is pretty good. Um. Okay. You're coming back to base. Yes. Come back to base. The frogs are mostly gone. I have the telltale heart. Annoyed at carrying around this hammer. That will stop. Okay, you ready? Where are you going? You just drifted through base. Is it... You're not paying attention at all, are you? Not really. Dude, get your head in the game. you want to play chess, play chess. If you want to play Don't Starve, play Don't Starve. Watch out for that frog. No, oh, wait. Should not be fighting with the... Yeah, I shouldn't be fighting with... I'm okay with fighting with the frogs. I shouldn't be fighting with a non-weapon. Wigford two shots them, so they're actually pretty good if you can get them a few at a time. Hey, lemonade! Were your ears burning? We're just talking to you. Talking about you. Have I seen your slingshot? I have not seen your slingshot. I have not seen any slingshot. Uh, Ouch. What are you up to today, Lemonade? How you doing? About what? Um, I was saying who built the mushroom planters. Because they're really coming in handy, and Swordfish reminded me that it that, that it was you. They have come in handy. They are coming in handy. I would say they're coming in clutch. Uh, do you need a booster shot? We yeah. have we have three booster shots in this this chest here, and in fact, I picked red mushrooms so we can make more. Niter, you say. Okay, well. Alright. We'll work on that. We can work on the niter. You're enjoying Saturday after five days? Yeah. Saturday's good. I, uh, slept in last night. Or this morning. That felt great. So, same, same. Wait, so we have a telelocator focus, but they call it a gem stand. 
I don't... Why is it called a gem stand? Uh, no. Is it just because it you don't need it? It doesn't do anything? I'm sort of confused. Sort of confused. Sort of. By the whole gem stand thing. So a telelocator focuses a gem stand. But what does that mean? Know what? Were you hovering over it? Yeah. It says examine wet gem stand. Each small thing with a red gem on it is a gem stand, but there's telecoder focuses in the middle. They just call it a gem stand because that's where you put the gems normally. But you don't need to put gems on them. So even though it looks like there's gems, you build it with gems initially? Okay, so I think that explains it. They just don't run out, is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. And that, and very cool. And very cool indeed. Resources look okay. All right. I need niter. I'm going to go get some niter. In the caves, I think. Ah. We don't have any, if we get any living logs, uh, be on the lookout for tree guards. See if you guys can get some living logs. We can refuel the, we can refuel the, um, the, uh, mushroom planters. Apologies if you guys can hear the hammering going on. I don't know if you can. But there's some hammering going on in other parts of our house. Oh, yeah. Close the door. Good idea. Good idea, Swordfish. I left Capital. and was instantly attacked by a frog. Capital. Capital. Thing. I'm now down to 80 health. You'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Get over here. So for those of you just joining us, Swordfish and Azim here playing Uncompromising Mode with friends. You are welcome to be one of those friends if you would like. You don't have to play to be a friend. You can be a friend and play. You can be a friend and not play. You, I guess, technically could play and not be a friend, although how would you get the password? So I don't really believe that one. Um... I think that one's weird. The warning I would give is uncompromising mode, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, which I do not. Just to be clear, I think I've demonstrated that many, many times over. Uncompromising mode is quite difficult. Um, on the flip side, though, I think, um, you know, we're, we're pretty accommodating about bringing each other back to life. So uh, if you want to just have some fun and your ping is not too bad, feel free to join in. Uh, one additional warning, it is almost summer and summer sucks. Question. Yes, sir. Question. Important question. Okay. What's our goals for... Dude, are you kidding me? Are you... Uh, seriously, are you messing with me right now? A little. Because like five minutes ago, I was like, Swordfish, what's your goal? I don't have a goal. And you literally ignored me because you were playing chess when no. I when I turned around. Well, I was dead, all right? You were dead. Uh, although you didn't actually. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter <laughs> that. Uh, all right. Well, I don't. 
Hey, change. I, I think you've missed me yelling at swordfish mostly. I haven't figured out what my goal is today either. Um, that I can... Other than survive. I mean, like... Not working towards it. So, um, summer is going to come. We are going to get the seasonal dragonfly. We can kill Bee Queen again. I think seasonal dragonfly. They won't come. We could do Bee Queen. We'd have to do it fast. Need flingos. And we want to prepare for dragonfly. Okay, preparing for dragonfly. Let's talk about that. What does preparing for dragonfly mean? Change, I think I was asking you before you left when you play DST, since you play Wagstaff in uh, a solo, who do you play when you're playing uh, DST, which, which of course does not have Wagstaff? Healing. Why did I put that on? Not mean to do that. Wanda or Wendy? Very strong. I have, uh, I used to play a lot of Wanda, I haven't recently, although just uh, this week we started a new world, a not uncompromising mode world. We only do uncompromising mode on the weekends because it's too stressful. Um, and uh, playing Wanda in that world. Wendy I have not played a lot of. My daughter uh -oh. plays a lot of Wendy, and so I never wanted to kind of like take that experience away from her. Tornado incoming. Um... Right, it's coming straight for Fnatic. Hey, you know what we haven't done? We haven't done the Moonstone. That's occurring to me too, and I'm getting some fossils, which is why it's occurring to me. Anyway, I like Wendy. I have not had as much experience with her myself. But I think a very powerful character. When I do Wendy, my usual strategy is Beefalo. Um, is tame a beefalo. Because I think Wendy plus a beefalo is pretty strong. At least that's been my personal experience, impression, you know, whatever you want to call it. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, right. Caves can get flooded. Caves do get flooded. Tornado stole your hat. Play Wendy, let Abigail go on a killing spree. Yeah, she's so great at those kind of like low level mob control situations. Just a really strong, really strong character. And I think in what I was trying to say is I think the beefalo makes her stronger because you know, what's her one downside, really, um, is that she doesn't do as much damage. So, like, where somebody like Wigfrid or Wanda would have a damage penalty for riding a beefalo, um, she just is all upside. For, for Wendy, that is. Wendy is all upside. Okay, that holds me over a little bit, but honestly, not very much. I really should not be down here without food. I gotta go. Ooh! I should... I should bring a fishing rod. Bring a fishing rod. What would I catch in there? Eels? In where? Uh, toadstool cave pond. Would they be eels or fish? Either way is fine. They'd be eels. I think. I think either way is fine. What do two eels and two monster meat get you in uncompromising mode, though? I think. Probably crap. I think monster it's probably monster. Lasagna. Probably, yeah. The tornado moved our boat that's connecting us to like the bee boxes. Like it pushed it? It sucked it. 
towards it. And I, the boat's now about to die because it has two giant leaks in it. Uh, all right. Well, we can rebuild the boat. We have plenty of wood, finally. Yeah. We need flingos. We need flingos. Yes. We're going to stay up. Uh, I need this mole worm. 100%. Yeah, I think that's what Fnatic was saying, is prepare for summer, right? Yeah, there's just one issue. There's no ice left. Lemonade, you coming in? Password today, ironically, is Hamlet, which is has nothing to do with Don't Starve Hamlet. It is totally because I had to go... Let me let me rephrase that. I, I got to go? No, I think it was better when I had to. I, I had to go slash got to go to uh, a high school production of Hamlet last night at my daughter's high school. My daughter was not in it. Dude, I went in the wormhole and everything was fine. And I came out of the wormhole and I'm in a tornado storm. Just want something to eat, guys. Just want some Not acceptable. I just saw a rat wearing a hat off in the distance. I think he's probably been sitting around for a long time. Get in that trap. What was the reason? Uh, my daughter wanted to go. Uh, she, she and one of her friends were going and my wife was going to chaperone them. Not chaperone, she was gonna drive them. And uh, you know, stay to see the play with some of the other moms. Uh, but then she could not go because she was actually driving Swordfish and his classmates around from a field trip that they were having. So uh, I went instead. Yeah, there is a rat. We got two tree guards over here. Okay, we got a pig. I can keep this pig for a petrified forest. There's a lot going on over here. Oh, dude. No, oh, I need you. Okay, I'm going to hammer your house. And that's going to make you that's going to make him unhappy with me cuz in in uncompromising mode if you if you hammer their houses, they get aggro on you. I need his meats. We got the meats. Honestly, I am not doing great at the having food part of, uh, you know, being a wiggy. If, I, if I'm being strictly honest about my own performance, it hasn't been fantastic. God, there's logs everywhere from these weirdo tornadoes. Oh, there's a tall bird fortress over here. That's what Wigfred needs. Wigfred needs... We need to lead a berger or something over to this tall bird fortress at some point. Dude. Oh, wow. They're killing, the, they're the, killing the small birds. That mullerm was the richest guy. They are killing the small birds, and they're like single target attackers, so I can just go around picking up all these meats, I think. You know oh, shoot. No, I picked up the... Uh, I think I moved the egg by accident. A mullerm had gems. Oh, 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 okay. I took it too far. I took it too far. I took it too far. Leave me alone, tall birds. I don't have any of your eggs. Okay, well, if, I mean, if one of you wants to come, though. I mean, if you're here all by yourself. Yeah. Look at you. Okay. Meat problems. 
Wait, what? Kingly figure skin. Okay, that's just a coincidence. I'm gonna get a drink. You're gonna go get a drink, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, feeling much better about life now that I've killed that tall bird and picked up all these extra little goodies here. Hey, EJ. EJ, did you ever tell me... Oh. What? What is the... Um, how come you changed your uh, screen name? You're playing as Wanda? Change was just telling us that uh, they, they are a Wanda, too, when they're playing DST. Xbox username. Right, 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 right. You connected it. You got everything hooked up. The clay and the Switch and the Xbox. As best as possible, you got everything hooked together now. Good stuff. Back. Welcome back, welcome back. Hmm. That whole thing started with me saying, oh, I gotta go get Niter. I didn't even think of the petrified forest. Looky here. We got Niter. All right, so are you working on stuff for Flingos or whatever? Yeah, but the ice is the The ice is the issue, okay. Uh, where would we get ice in the last days of spring? Not even possible, you don't think? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's a solution for that. Nothing is really coming to mind. This this does feel like a failure of foresight on our part. One of many. All right, where am I? Look at that. I've never been through that wormhole. Okay, well, we should do that. Maybe pick a few more flowers first, though. So EJ, you're playing Don't Starve Together today as Wanda. Congratulations. Very exciting. Ah, a wormhole and a cave entrance. Have we not been down this? We've never been down this cave entrance either. I'm going to do both. I'm going to... I'm going to hit the cave entrance and I'm going to hit the wormhole. One at a time. Wow, that's huh, interesting. Then in the middle of nowhere. Let's look around. Spiders, okay. Oh, EJ's got a quote, Swordfish. Shall we play something new or old? The Wanda quote. Shall we play something new or old? My instinct is that this is her quote for the new gramophone. We got Rockies over here. I wonder if they're useful in uh, Don't Starve Together as mobs for killing something. Yes, I got it in one. Look at that. Boom. Nice. When when uh, we go affiliate, I will figure out how to do a counter thing so that you and I can keep a running tally of who wins these uh, little quote competitions that EJ puts on for us occasionally. OK, 
Okay, that connects to the blue mud forest. That's pretty nice. And I can go in here to help my sanity situation. Have you guys mapped the... Have, have either of you been in the archive yet? I don't know that we've had a reason to. Not None of us playing Wanda... Uh, unless you guys went in for... Ooh. Ooh, hello, sir. Interesting. I was just saying we need living logs. Wait, wait, wait. Naked mole bats? What are you like? Are naked mole bats terrifying in uncompromising mode in some way that I should be aware of? Um, I don't know. Hey, where are you going? Dude, walk towards my fire. Ouch. Okay, what did I get? I got one. I got one living log and two boom booms. Okay, you let us know when you're back, EJ. Alright, what's the deal with these boom shrooms? If I eat them raw, they raise hunger and sanity. I'm okay with that. Oh, I can't, because I'm wig for it. Ah! Boom. Okay, not so good for me. But sanity will go up, because I'm near the fire here. And I did get one living log. That's nice. Are you dead? No. I'm, waiting for... I'm trying to play stunts. All right, well, well, how'd you get ice? ice? So I've been mining, like, the lowest level of life, and it's really inefficient. But, but you are able to get some. Okay, that's cool. Managed to get enough for two. That's good. Okay, I will tell you EJ did give a quote here. Oh, all right. And we're not allowed to guess yet, because EJ's not here at the moment. He, he, he'll be right back. But I can give you the quote so you can start thinking about it. It is a Wanda quote. I'm amazed that young man can keep her under control. I'm amazed that young man can keep her under control. What? What? Fanatic was killed by twigs? What? Wow. Health must have been super low. That's 20 damage at a time. Yeah, falling twig. Okay, naked nostrils. Yes, sir. Actually. Monster meat, less, less interesting. Tell me about naked nostrils. Without a hat, you get more damage. Yes. Hooked nostrils, health and hunger bonus, no sanding penalty. Okay, very nice. Take it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 another one of you. Can I drive you this way if I start attacking you from over here? Driving towards the fire. Guys, we're about to be tornadoed. I am in the grotto, so no tornado for me. I'm just chilling and also maybe living log farming. All that. All right, that's two living logs. I've only gotten one from each of the first two I killed, and I don't know if that is a coincidence or if you only get one in um, uncompromising mode. I could I could certainly imagine that. All right, I'm just gonna chill here for sanity. 
think I'm gonna get rid of this battle oh, spear. No! Oh, the magic lightning. That stuff is brutal. And he doesn't have an effigy anymore. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'll look for spiders. You should. We should all look for spider glands. I'll look for spider glands. Yeah. Yeah. Radic, we'll be back. Too many hits at once. Yeah, rough. Mm. There are glands in a chest. Fanatic says there's glands in a chest. That's perfect. You, uh... I gotta get out of there. I'm losing health, too. Yeah. Okay, well, when the lightning finishes, I suppose. Oh, I was going to make another battle spear. Because the other one was running low. Mm. No, I think the... Tree guards be mossling? Doesn't... Or not be mosslings, but yeah. Um, Miscus. Tree guards v muscus. Is that what you're saying? Let's go see if we can find the entrance to the archive just to have it on the map. Oh, there, there. What the heck? Why is that blinking? Does that usually do that? Or is that some uncompromising oh, mode thing? Poster. Right, we're endless. That was a smart decision. Just based on the amount of dying. Like, I can imagine doing a... Don't mind the blinking one. Okay, I'm not going to go in, um, actually, probably at all. But I definitely won't mind the blinking ones. I good, did, I good. think, in a different world. And how did that go? Well, they release one of the orbs, and one of the things becomes, even without having done the turned on the archive, one of the things. I see. They start to screw you, what you're saying. No, you're killing the wrong thing. Stupid auto targeting. Away. You jerk. He's just. Okay. Yeah. There. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. Ah, that one dropped too. Okay, so it is RNG, just like in the, the regular game. I was just having bad luck before. All right, four living logs. And here's the entrance. Max sanity, max sanity, perfect. Health is good. I can't tell if somebody has been here or not. It's possible because the entrance is clear, so somebody might have mined it out. I bet, I bet that has happened. But I'll finish it. Oh, uh oh. That happened. That happened. 
definitely gonna wake up in the morning. I was getting hit by magic light. The archive is immune to the uh, earthquakes. I mean, you still get the shake, but nothing falls on your head. Pretty nice. Do you guys have a use for thulacite fragments, swordfish? Or do, like, can you make uh, rounds or anything out of them? Yeah. Are they good? Good. Like, if I'm down here, should I try to get you a bunch? Or is it not worth it? Um, I don't know. I won't bother if you're not super excited about it. I mean, like, they give us good stuff, but... Not earth-shattering? No, not right. Okay. Fair enough. I will just... Is there anything in here that is going to kill me just for walking around? What the heck? That's unusual. You can get flooding in here. That's interesting. I would not honestly have expected that. Here's the puzzle. Wow, there's three blinkies around it. Maybe more, actually. A lot of dust moths. Multiple floods. I actually am surprised in the lore that, uh, or in, you know, that the uh, makers would say, based on, well, whatever. I'm surprised by the flood. I still want to know what is Clay going to do with that sealed portal. So excited about learning the answer to that someday. Someday. And I know a lot of people want it to be a third shard. I kind of want it to be a third shard just because that would be awesome. And, you know, computers are a lot more powerful than they were 10 years ago. Are you dead? Yeah. Hmm. You want me to come back and save you? I, oh, gosh. Uh, I just realized I have a food issue. I gotta come back anyway. Ooh, unless I killed a dust moth. Which I know you're not supposed to, but... Huh. Why did I get these things? A little unexpected. Happy summer. Oh, is it summer? Woof. Okay. Good luck to us. All right, I'm heading back because I've already feasted off one dust moth. Do we stay in base? That is the question. Do we stay in base? Uh, Swordfish, did you put flingos down? Ew. Is the base, how much of the base is covered? Not in the... Some, but not enough. All right. I think I will head up there. So staying in base would be a major gamble. Yes. Wait. 
Oh, that doesn't... Okay, there's the connection. Ooh, a burrow. Okay, 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 okay. That's food, though. And he's asleep. Ah, uh, it's bad food. Still, maybe what I gotta do. And then there's two of those guys. That's interesting. If I dig this up, what happens? Oh, just twigs? Okay, not exciting. We can stay at base for the first two days. Okay, that's a good tip. You know what? I'm not going to mess with those. I need food. Need food. When wildfires or dragonfly comes, move away. Okay, good tip. Good tip. EJ, you back yet? Remember, we have an interesting quote here. Do all burrows give twigs? Sometimes they give grass, apparently. Interesting quote. I'm amazed that young man can keep her under control. Oh, here's Toadstool. Toadstool is in the blue mush. Need thermals though. Do we have any cool thermals in the already like in the in the blah 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 blah. My words fail me in the, the, the fridges or anything. You know, this is why we should have made doing the moonstone event more of a priority this off season. Because then we'd have the star caller or the moon caller staffs, right? I mean, yes, we would. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes, we would. All right, where does this come up? That again? What are you doing? I'm just coming up from the caves, and I don't know where I come up. I'm near the Blue Mush Forest, but I don't know where that entrance comes. All right. So. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. It comes up near Dragonfly, apparently. Interesting. like a it's like a, a recurring farm one comes up it goes to eat the monster meat i kill it it drops a monster meat i mean maybe it's dropping the monster meat the same monster meat i don't know Ooh, wrist ruffles i don't think i have to ah oh, an adult adults drop better stuff
Ooh, bat wings. Or my dindin. Like the oh, shh. Well, it's over. What, what are you oh shitting about? We got rats. We got lemonade's down. Oh, lemonade was killed by rat. Rack. Rats are bad. Rats are bad. veterans one of these goes pretty near our yeah that one that one too much trash we did such a good job picking everything up and too. tornadoed yeah and tornado then the tornado repeatedly. yeah killed us that that really that's the tornado hit at the worst possible time for sure typical new york night oh you were talking trash about my hometown Look at you. Although, I will admit, New York has always had a trash problem. It's because of the design of the city. Like, when we lived in Chicago, the way Chicago is designed, there are all these alleys between the streets, and everybody puts their trash out in the alley. And in New York, in Manhattan at least, and, and honestly, most of, the, most of New York City, there are no alleys so the trash just goes right out on the curb and it's yeah it's pretty bad it's pretty bad not gonna lie uh you know what we never did we never put down a cold fire did we no all right well this is temporary but here it is Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna make some more booster shots because we're gonna need them for sure. Oh, uh, do we have the red caps though? We do. It will take time and you die from heat before coming back. What, what are you guys talking about? chat there is it not better to revive in the portal yeah not during summer it ain't Where should I put it? For what? Put it the wrong fire pit? Um, I'd probably put it right where the... Wait till this one goes out and then put it right there if you can. Which I don't know if you can, but let me clean up the stuff that's around it. Food. Do we have any meat?
Ooh, steamed ham. Nice. I got three fossil fragments here. Maybe I'll try to get more of those at some point. Ouch. That can take a lot of my health. Atcoons are way harder in uh, uncompromising mode. Have you noticed that? Uh -huh. I mean, everything is, is way harder, so... But yeah, Catcoon is pretty brutal. They are not easy meat. I mean, they are, but they're not. All right, all right, all right. Uh, thermal spook. Ooh, look at that, a luxury fan, nice. That'll help, help somebody for sure. Move it, put it over here. And maybe the endothermic should be further away from the scaled furnace though. Maybe it should be over here, swordfish. Like where I'm standing, what do you think? Good, but that's pretty far away from the... It's near the tents, though. Mm. And you don't want it to be too close to the scaled furnace, because then it neg you've got the heat that negates the effect of the cold. So I'd probably put it over here. We don't need a Prestahatitator anymore. I can get rid of that. Save some space. Where hammer? Ouch. No hammer. Okay. Losing max health. That's being an idiot. That's a beautiful, beautiful wormwood skin that emanates. You can't gone. do the dragon pie recipe. Wait, is this flingo out of fuel? Oh, no, it's just off. It's just off. Okay. You can't do a dragon pie? Like, oh, they you can't do three twigs. about how this thermal stone is working. It doesn't seem to be getting max cold. Don't refuel the fire. Right. Um, is... Where's my, uh... <laughs> Lemonade didn't get the memo. Lemonade, don't raise it. Fire. Fire pit. Well, there it is. There's the hammer. I knew there was one. All right, bunnies, go to sleep. I'll eat you later. Go ahead. You can go ahead and place the endothermic fire pit. Or are you? Are you? Are you? Do you want to place it like right, right there? Yeah. Because I do think it would be better further away. But it's your decision. Where? I mean, I can. Like right here. Sure. You know, on the same line as the. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Ooh, beautiful skin. Beautiful skin. Two hammers. I we should just put the thermal stones in the fridge. Ah, that is smart too. 
That is wise. You are wise, swordfish. You are wise. Okay, yeah, I see the thermals are... Or the flingos... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. One wrap. Who's got the bundling wrap recipe? Is it that is it Swordfish, is it you? My boy. So so you. Seven steamed hams, boom. Look at you. I will borrow one. Yeah, I'm rich on bundling right. Okay, we have six booster shots in here. That feels pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. Like the the one time we stayed up, like the first time we got to summer, we stayed up. Got filled with smog. Yes, there was a lot of smog. I imagine that is coming. That's from wildfire. Wait, is that why? Uh, do we how What of those uh, masks do we have? We have smog masks. We have two plague masks. What do those do? Protect against smog. Them is mine. I think one of them is Yeah, I ne I definitely never had one of those. How do you make a plague mask? Well, you need a moose goose mask, and we don't have any moose goose. Yeah, that sucks. But we've got fans. You see that luxury fan? Yes, I that do. That protects them. Okay, good. All we're missing really is the moose goose. Uh, question is, oh. is fishing at the oasis a good thing? I know where the moose goose feathers are. I can make you one. Okay. Oh, we got. We have so many moose. Yeah. Fishing at the oasis is good. Does anyone have any red caps? I just used them. Um... I mean, you can wait for lemonades to grow. I just use them on booster shots. Can I help you then? Okay, well, I don't need it yet. I mean, I'm sure I will at some point. All right, I'm going to go try fishing at the Oasis. Which should work out for me because it'll produce fish that I can eat and maybe some other cool stuff as it does in the base game. Why? Why am I going to go fish at the Oasis? Uh, it's too slow. But wouldn't it be fun to get the, um, you know, the red idol, uh, the, the, it's right here. We have plenty of food. I don't know. I feel like I suck at food. Is there something that uh, I should be doing instead? Let me ask that. I don't want to shirk my responsibilities. Dragonfly is coming soon. Okay, well, that does seem like a thing I should be ready for. Although, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure I feel like I can be ready for OG Dragonfly. Very challenging. Ah, uh, scorpions. Scorpions. Yes, scorpions. Ooh, fruit fly versus fruit bats versus scorpions. That's something I'm glad I'm seeing. The fruit bats are ganging up on them and winning. Is Dragonfly the same as in regular DS where two thermal pits, thermal fire pits stop her? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I don't know the answer to that. I mean, I can't. I don't know how I ended up. Oh. From the light bulbs. Uh, 
I do have an endothermic fire pit ready to go, or I, I can. I'm low on nitre, but I have one. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Aha, uh -huh, what? I can make the uh, event. Thank you. What does it uh, protect from heat, too? No. Uh, that's too bad. Almost nothing. It, I mean, it, but it provides protection against spore clouds. Yes. You know, like from the frog. Oh. And smog. Yeah, the smog is the big thing. The smog sm is that the smog thing. is bad. It has waterproofness and it gives plus 6.7 sanity per minute. It, it's a tam o shanter. It's yeah. a tam o shanter that prevents sanity, but it uh, does not prevent you from overheating in any way. So you need you need other protections. Thermal stones. Yeah, but remember the thermal stones in uncompromising mode suck unless you also have heat protection or winter protection. At least that's true for the winter side. Maybe it's not true for the heat side. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hey guys, who's got a good idea of what I should get Swordfish for his holiday present? Swordfish, you are not allowed to not allowed to say. You, you're you're not allowed to, to, to give suggestions. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. I, uh, how about a thousand cents? Wait, how much is that? Ten dollars. Okay, I can do that. No, how about uh, ten thousand. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not a hundred thousand. Porsche 911. <laughs> that well, yes, first please. of all, first of all, no, because way too expensive. Second of all, that would be a gift for me because Swordfish can't drive. <laughs> yeah, but I just force you to look at it until uh, now. Where would we even put it though? Like we don't have a, a we have garage. A car shed. Not we do not have a par shed. Yeah, we do. Are you talking about our garage? That's filled with car parts. You couldn't park a car in it. Decoration until eighteen. That is an expensive decoration. More expensive than I can afford. Nadek wants to know how many marble you have. How many marble I have? I have thirty-one. That's pretty good. Well, we oh, also have we also me. have forty marble in that chat. Oh dear, heat wave, heat wave, everybody, heat wave, heat wave, heat wave. This is where the bad starts. Heat waves Wait, burn everything. Did you hear something? Oh no. Are we getting hounds? I buy stone fruit. Stone, the stone for bushes. That would suck. Everyone, get out of base now. Are you hearing hounds, or is it just me? Yeah, yeah. we're getting oh, hounds. I'm hearing hounds. Okay, I do. Uh, shoot, varglet. that's a varglet. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. I made a terrible, terrible decision. Ooh, maybe I'm not going to die. What the hell is that? Magma hounds? Yeah, magma hound. Okay, that's terrible. Okay, I didn't die. Fruit bats? Fruit bats, help me, fruit bats. I didn't have enough rounds. Okay, fruit bats seem to be distracting the hounds. Fruit bats are dying to the hounds. Lemonade was killed by overheating. I've got a varglet and three red hounds here. I could distract them a little. Take them on one Dead. by one. Okay, now I'm getting the plague. 
Okay, one hound down. I got claustrophobia. Another hound down. And our Third base down. is burned. I think, yeah, stone fruit are gone. Yep. All the stone fruit are gone. Okay, I'm in my asthma. Okay, all that's left is the magma hound, but I can't breathe. Oh, and he shoots fire. Wow. Okay. Get to a safe spot, maybe? My meat effigy was burned. Wow. Bet, oh, you, no. bet you wish you'd used it now. Okay. Okay, Magma Hound dead. Wow, he creates a magma puddle. Red gems, though. Two red gems. I think I would have lived if not for the cost of All right, uh, I'm starving. Do I have anything to eat? Yes, fish. Woo! That was uh, intense, guys. That was intense. Who's alive? Who's dead? Two down. Uh, killed by claustrophobia. Both of you? You and Fnatic both? Or you and Lemonade? Just me and Lemonade. Um, we got a bunch of red gems. Most of the walls down. Uh, grass and twigs down. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, all, all of the stone fruit down. Oh. Not just burnt. Yeah. Um, my effigy down. Tent somehow lived. One tent? Okay. Well, we only had one tent. Oh, the other one was, uh, used up? Yeah. Okay, got it. Alright, could have been worse. Uh, the stone fruit is probably the biggest loss of all of that. Did you say you have a... Yeah, the stone fruit is a big loss, but we could go get more. Did I say my what? Did you... My effigy burned, so I can't revive. Right, right, right. And there's the base full of miasma. Uh, and do you, did you make a plague mask for me? I did. It's on the ground right here. I'll haunt it over to you. I see it, I see it, I see it. Woo! That looks ridiculous. Look at that. That's hilarious. But it feels good. I like it. Okay, um, do we have any spider glandy type thingies? We have one stale long. Oh, here's a telltale heart. Do you want to come back right now? Um, or do you want to wait till morning? No spider glands. I'll come back. We have one telltale heart and uh, then. Bring, revive me on my stuff. And bring like stuff to keep me cold. Yeah, there's one heart. Where are you? Where's your stuff? Does the mask protect you from the dust? Yes, this this weird ass mask okay. protects you from. Wait, you wanted me to bring something to keep you cold. Yeah. How far away? Because I don't have anything to protect me from. Like we're gonna have to run for the. Seems pretty far. No oh, bats. Well, you're the one who's got my lantern. Which is fine. Stupid claustrophobia killed me. Indeed. I think I have most of my death. That's the downside of your character, and it is significant. I mean, she's very strong, but the claustrophobia is um, is pretty brutal, I would say. Very brutal. How did, how did uh, Lemonade's farm survive? They don't, farms don't burn. Crops will burn. 
Uh, I think they're actually in range of mine. Mm, must be. Or maybe no fire. But yes, my meat effigy gun, that's big. Alright, I gotta go find, on day 131, Moonfly comes. We want to kill her Moonfly. That's tomorrow. Okay. Can someone bring a thermal stone to the portal? Yes, I can bring a thermal stone to the portal. Good idea. If I can find a thermal stone. Do we have others in the fridge? Yes, we do. Wow, we got a lot of them. Nice job, guys. Yeah, we okay. were... What's the fastest way to the portal? We were doing good. Walking. Do we have a boat bridge? We do not have a boat. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I gotta get a boat. I have full difficulties. Mm, that's Make a idea. fridge near the portal. Yes, genius. Genius. I will do that. Uh, okay, hang on. There's a boat. All right, what do I need to make a fridge? Gold, yes. Gears, yes. That stone, no problem. Okay. Gear. Okay, there's a fridge. Let me take an extra... Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, Lemonade. I'm coming. Those honey boxes look delicious. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll get that on the way back. There you go. Good floaty friend fixer. <laughs> Love it. That's cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, you can kill it without them even trying to fight you. Wormwood perk. Grab the bird. Kill for meat. Hey, Marshmallow Cat. It's going good. How are you doing? How's your Saturday night going? Gosh, almost Sunday morning for you. You have four birds. Wow. You rich. For us, we have been, um, we took a hard hit from a uh, fire in the base. Hard hit. Bunch of deaths. Chill evening as usual. Sop, shop some Christmas gifts. Oh, you're, you know what? You could be the perfect one to answer this question. I just asked, uh, what should I get Swordfish for his holiday gift this year? Lemonade helpfully suggested I get him a car, which is not going to happen for many, many reasons. Not the least of which is way too expensive, but also he can't drive, so he's too young. Uh, so that that's out, but I would entertain other useful suggestions. I told my mom a security camera. A security camera? What does that mean? Like a, you know, a tiny security camera to hang over the door of my room. And, and it's, it's more like than you might think because that way I can you know have my phone set up and I can be looking at the security camera so I can tell if the dog's about to ramp my room when I'm playing 
That's that's it? To see if the dog has broken into your room? Yeah. Oh, did somebody need red mushrooms you know, for something? I, you know, I keep going away to get, you know, the dog out of my room, and then, you know, I get, I die. It's... Uh, yeah. That does keep happening, actually. That is a surprisingly frequent occurrence for you. Wait, where did I put my... Is this mine? Okay, gotta do some inventory reorganization here. Okay, what's the deal with the moon dragonfly? I don't know, honestly, anything about that. Oh, shoot, I have a health bar. Okay, we have booster shots, right? I made a bunch that we do. Who can tell me something about this moonfly thing? Kill minions first, okay. Kill minions first. Good tip. I'm going to hammer the walls that are useless. Not not the ones that are stone walls. Kill the minions that surround her. Okay. Got it. you know anything about this uh, moonfly? Have you looked it up at all? No, but I'm going to right. That would be useful. Moon moth. Moomaw or Moon Maw? Moon Ma. Moon Ma. So it suggests moon and mouth. Under a full moon or moonstorm in south. Go to Bee Queen because there's cobblestones there? Okay, that sounds like a good idea. They'll spawn in place of the wilting. Spawns on its back, having oh. recently fallen out of the sky. Oh, heat protection would be good. You're talking about the hooded forest? Hey, ready? Yeah, okay, I'm listening. It has eight glass lo levi orbiting around it. Glass. And it'll spin violently if the player gets too close, damaging it and knocking it back to those who get hit. It can also summon small crystals that it'll shoot like projectiles. Slam the ground in AoE. It'll, it can slam the ground, creating a line of unstable moon glass that can damage you multiple times. Okay. Oh, ouch. So it's, kind of like Celestial Champion? Yeah. Uh, it can also summon massive crystals from the sky, similar to Celestial Champion. There is an enormous light that surrounds it. It is That is, this is not very noticeable due to spawning when nights are bright from full moon. The aura around her in, inflicts enlightenment, which can spawn just all that high sand. Interesting. On death, it drops eight meat, three enlightened scales, and three... Inert infused chunk. Okay. 18 infused moon shard. All right. Better to be low, lower sanity. Okay. So All I right. can eat raw meat. The enlightened scales. Yeah. Um, they can be used in crafting in the celestial tab to create shard scale armor. Interesting. An extremely powerful oh. late game armor set. Is that the thing uh, that Fnatic that that thing it that orbits looks like... around you? Oh, it makes I'm the getting an uh, antline. One scale and ten infused. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen Fnatic's videos where he's absorbs that. seventy percent of damage, provides light while worn, creates up to eight moon shards that deal ten damage on attack. It looks very powerful. Ouch. Yeah, antline. Did you not notice you were getting antline? I was in a tab. Oh, dude, were you in the base? Dude. 
I was in a tab and no one told me. I said ant I'm getting ant I know, but I was reading a tab. Oh, uh, well, at least uh, you didn't damage any of the structures. Just a couple marble. EJ, you were watching Jakey's new video released an hour ago. What is it about the beta? Yeah, pan flute. That's a good question. Does do we does anybody have the pan flute? Mm. Uh, here it is, fifty percent. Okay, I'll grab it. But I think fanatic, you're gonna want to control it. Uh, so what do we say? Hooded forest. We go at evening. You don't think the pan flute works? Hmm. Okay. That's too bad. All right. Uh, does anybody want crowns? Uh, uh, not crowns. Battle helms. Battle helms or battle spears. Make a second battle spear. I'll make a couple of crowns, but I'll also just bring some gold, I think. Just one. One for you. Okay. Here you go. On what? Just one battle crown. He needs one. That I yeah. I'll okay. take one. Okay. Just one one for swordfish. Out. Lemonade, battle crown? Lemonade just picked up one. Okay. Hang on. Battle crown. There you go. Does not have, you have a, weapon. a weapon. Yes, sir. Take a dark sword. I uh, don't know how, maybe, but there's a spear. Dark sword would be better for you guys. Oh, another crown. You want another crown? No problem. All right. Run. Run. Dragonfly's coming now. Okay, I'm running because Dragonfly is coming now. So we're not getting the Moon Dragonfly. That sucks. Ah. I do have the Pan Flute though. Okay. Where is it? Does anybody see it? Coming on me. I don't see it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. That sucks. Well, oh. we can still try it's to kill it. It's low health because you damaged it last winter. Or last summer. Like a tiny little bit. Ouch. Ah, frogs. Got double shot by frogs, and now we're getting the plague stuff. Uh-oh. He's alive. Watch that lemonade. Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> Ah, she just rushed us. Wait. Get on your head here. The plague mask stuff? You want me to... Tell me if you want me to pan fluter. I can't tell if it would be helpful or not. Hey, EJ, we got a little bit going on here, so... Not really looking at the chat. Uh-oh. I'll catch up. Ah, ah. Yeah, I was not ready for this. I saw that coming. Wait, what am, what am I dying from? Hunger. Oh. oh, not my stuff. Okay, I just... I buy twigs, grass, and everything else. I, I can't like. looted. I don't even feel like I'm helping at all here. I don't even know... What to do here? Lemonade is killed by fire. Did she just eat your stuff? My stuff! Oh. And get my stuff. Uh. Oh, look at the fanatic coming in with the. I know all my twigs are already Ooh. gone, and my backpack, the grass. But you got. I didn't do anything even remotely helpful in that fight, honestly. All right, we got the slobber lobber. Oh no, his stuff is burning. Oh, rip. 
kill it. I mean, yeah, that's not great. And my stuff, my stuff burns too. I, I didn't. <laughs> that was so terrible. So I got, uh, I got one shot. That was at max health. Yeah, that was no armor because of the the miasma. That's a brutal fight. That's brutal. I wish it was the moonfly. I was prepared. For the moonfly, moonfly would have been would have been would have been good. Um. Okay. What? What do? Uh. So, chat. Let me. Let me. Let me uh, catch back up here. Um. EJ was watching Jakey's video, defeating all bosses as re re reworked Wolfgang, new bosses and skill tree. Tip: If you're playing Wolfgang and don't want to lose leg day, hold your dumbbell. What does lose leg day mean? And then Marshmallow Cat says, this version of Dragonfly looks so aggressive. Okay, so this version of Dragonfly is based on the original Don't Starve Dragonfly, which doesn't hang out in the Dragonfly Desert because there was no Dragonfly Desert. Um, it comes to find you. And once it locks onto you, it just chases you forever. And it does all that sort of weird stuff. And I honestly have no personal experience with it because in all my time playing solo don't starve on my phone on uh, i played the iphone version which was a little buggy um it never showed up one time so so i've never fought it before that was a that was a new experience for me all right well okay, lemonade went to the florid postern i'm out for you're done yep i, I didn't you died enough. All right. All right. You can be out. I'll play for a while longer. We've only gone a couple hours if you're okay with it. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to re... Well, you might as well wait and not, not reboot yet. That was pretty... Uh, that was pretty difficult. It completely stops your mighty going down. So if you've got leg day, oh, if you don't want to lose mightiness, do leg day, the leg day skill plus just hold your dumbbell. The only, I mean, that makes sense. The only issue with that, of course, is that, um, you know, you, once you're past day 21, you're going to be wanting holding your lazy explorer. Or, or your walking cane, right? So it conflicts a little. But I, but, but it, that does sound like good, solid advice. Somebody dropped a rain hat somewhere. I put it in the wardrobe. I think it fell off somebody during that dragonfly fight. He found a boon. You mean like a he found a walking cane? You have an ice cream cone? How'd you get an ice cream? How did you get an ice cream cone? How do we have ice cream cones? Oh, I see. You provided for yourself. Look at you, swordfish. Go. All right. I'm going to put the... So we can't get... We can't get the moon... The moon maw dragonfly. Because you can only get one dragonfly every 20 days or whatever. That's too bad. But I guess I get it. It comes at full moon and we missed the full moon because we were fighting the other guy. Got it. That's too bad.
if we killed Dragonfly on first summer. Yeah, we did not do that. <laughs> I ran from it like a scared little baby. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit it was brutal. I was not ready for that. What? Well, look at you getting yourself real bonus there. All right. Well, I think, um, you know, overall, we, we we did OK. We didn't completely. I mean, Fnatic did all the work on that fight. I, I ran around being very confused. Did you do some work before you died? I couldn't tell. Are you live tweeting the Jakey video right now? Is that what's what is that what's happening, uh, EJ? I'm surprised you released a video on a Saturday afternoon. That's a weird time to release a video, I think. Um, yeah, because well, I don't know. Yeah, he is. He's very popular. Maybe it's the perfect time. I mean, he knows more about it than I do. That's for sure. All right, well, live tweet away. I just killed a mole worm with a lantern. Jakey will eventually do a beefalo only boss run. I mean, hell, I could do a beefalo only boss run. Except for the bosses that are really, really hard to do with beefalo, which is a lot of the late game bosses, if we're being honest. So maybe I would like to see that now that now that we're talking about it. That could be kind of interesting. Check Lemonade's health. Lemonade. 19.6. Speaking of health. He's rushing Fuel Weaver. Oh, out of 37? Lemonade, use the booster shot, man. Use a booster shot. We've got we've got a bunch. I think you uh they've they've changed the way the booster shots work, so. Wildfire's coming tomorrow. Okay, good tip. You might just use one and see what happens. Well, go ahead and use one of them and see what happens. It is slowly raising your max health. I see that. Okay, maybe we can build a siesta lean-to so we could do it during the day. What what are those? Uh, siesta, siesta, siesta. Oh, we could totally build one of these. Okay, I'll, I'll build one. It's a pro shocking that we have not already. Okay, we need that. We need four boards. And what was the other thing? We need rope. Yes, ah. Uh,
All right, lemonade, get in this lean-to. That'll uh, help you... Help. You've burned trees, I see that. Killing Fuel Weaver in spring. Got it. Oh, are these things spontaneously catching on fire? Is that why? I thought you meant that you had set the trees on fire on purpose, but now I realize that that makes no sense. Yes, I see spontaneous combustion. You know, I'm thinking maybe the caves. Maybe we hit the caves. It's wildfires. Yes, got it. Hey, for those of you just joining us, <clears throat> Swordfish and Nazim playing Don't Starve together with uncompromising mode on. The ice walls certain deer clops make can be mined and some are more brittle than others. I like the uh, tips, the uncompromising mode tips and lore. We have a Discord. Yes, thank you, EJ. Thank you. Uh... Swordfish uh, got a little tired of dying, so is currently taking a break. But uh, Lemonade has joined us, and uh, we are giving it a go, trying to trying to stay alive. Probably play for another forty five minutes or so. We usually go for a good three hours. Um, I did die once today. I can't seem to make it through a session without dying at least once, but it was only once so far today, so that's a little bit of a victory. Marginal victory. Um, I would like more fossils, because I'm feeling like doing the Moonstone should be in our future. And I could definitely use more Niter soon. Food situation is good. moment once I'm carrying around this heartrending ballad and honestly I have not used it I'm not a very good Wigfred oh by the way swordfish I don't think I told you oh you got your headphones on they have, um, they, they did a, uh, hot fix to the beta and you know how Wigfred was able to revive like her whole team. Uh -huh. They've nerfed it two max two and there's a cooldown on it. Yeah. So it's I, what, what clay is doing with, uh, Wigfred in the beta. I find confusing because they seem to be pushing her being a team oriented character. But then they are nerfing the things that make her a game oriented, you know, would make her really good. She could literally take zero damage. What with the, uh, the shield thing? Shield is the only thing I've heard anybody say that might be any good. But but then everybody who talks about it says it's still too expensive and there's no point in like waiting around for it. With the battle rond, yeah, the shield. Right. So, I don't know. I have yet to hear anybody say anything actually good. Wildfires are over. Nice. Like, nobody seems to like the Wigfrid rework. I, I, or at least, I, I, I shouldn't say nobody. I don't watch everybody. I watch streamers in English who... I feel like might have an interesting opinion. So that is that is clearly a small subset, but I have yet to hear anybody say anything good about it. Whereas everybody is saying very good things about Willow, even if they have criticisms or things they prefer, or tweaks or whatever. I don't know. EJ, have you played or just watched? Ooh. 
I'm getting a night event here in the caves. Got some cave spiders here. They don't scare me, but their spitter brethren do. I have always been a little scared of spitters, to be honest. And there's a spitter right there. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, it's wild. Phase wild. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, I am actually going to have to fight you. Get that too. Let's do it over here in the light, shall we? watched I don't know so what's your opinion do you have you heard anybody you've probably watched some of the same people I've watched and some different people have you heard anybody say anything good yet about the Wigfrid uh, rework filament what's filament brought friends. Ah, did not see that coming. Ooh, spider gland. Those, these spider glands, as it turns out, are like the most valuable thing in in the game right now because of all the reviving if we died less they would be less valuable but we die a lot so they have turned out to be super valuable it's a thing you saw in clay account filament i don't i have no idea what that is never heard of it put down spider traps, but I don't have very much grass. Maybe... Can I go get grass somewhere? Do we need paper? Fine question. Pepper. Oh, do we need pepper? Uh, gosh, what do you do with pepper? We don't have a Warly. If you don't have a Whirly, does anybody do anything with pepper? I know there's like a couple dishes that probably use it specially, but I can't think of any. Uh, if you're trying to make um, giants, though, pepper and dragon fruit and I want to say garlic. It's either garlic or onions during summer and spring make a good combo. So that would be one reason for pepper. Hmm. Where do you go? Oh, look, there's a connection over here. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea anything about filaments, EJ. Never heard of them. Lemonade usually knows about all things clay. Oh, crap. Four. Ten 
pigskin sometimes. These guys sometimes drop pigskin. By the way, that is... I was talking to somebody... I think Rudge was talking in her server about how... And this is obviously... Everybody experiences this. How, you know, people will come in and one of the ways that people grief uh, public servers is... Um, taking all the, like, pigskin and stuff. Having the adult bats that sometimes drop a pigskin, I think, is pretty smart. Although, I just killed four of them, and I didn't get a single pigskin, so... I don't think I'm making that up, though. Pretty sure the adult bats drop a pigskin. Yeah, see? Right there. Pigskin. I think that that is really smart. This pigskin is one of those things that um, reefers can really, really uh, take it out of you. Go to Clay Rewards. That mechanic is in Hamlet. They have adult atalisks in Hamlet. That's a Hamlet thing. Did not know that. Nice. I had no idea. Truly, truly no idea. Lemonade, your tip about using a clean sweeper to change the campfire to make the hands go away in one of your videos last, uh, a, a couple weeks ago. That was awesome. I had never heard anybody say anything like that. Like, A plus tip. You're coming to the caves too? Cool, cool, cool. I'm just hanging here killing bats. There's a lot of them. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this may be dumb. Do you see this insanity, Swordfish? This is ridiculous, but because of their attack mechanic, like, I'm not getting more than one of them ever attacking me at once. But it's also being really hard to get them. Because the one that's attacking me is not the one that I'm usually targeting. They're also going to eat all the stuff off the ground. On the other hand, Absolute lunacy. Somebody should clip this shit. Make a frickin' bat wing stew. like a new Wigfrid strategy. Stick around the bat cave and kill the adult battleists. Back here, you cowards. of that with 13 bat wings and two monster morsels and god only knows how many of the bat wings and morsels got eaten by the other bats what do you need to make a bat bat in this game 
I'd never use them. Two living logs and a purple gem. No thanks. Nope. Oh, fanatic, what happened? Entering caves takes too much time. Oh, you uh, you got booted from the server when you were trying to come down? Huh, that's weird. Not good. All right, I killed those guys. Let me just do a quick exploration here. Well, not that I was confused about it, but this is why we were being killed by all those bats. I have so many of your kind notched up. Not even going to worry about it. You got disconnected. You're going to try to come back in or you think you're done for the day? It's pretty late where you are. I know it's already middle of the night. If you want to be done, then Lemonade and I can be done also, and we can pick it up tomorrow. But uh, if you want to play on, then I can stick around for a little while. Not as late as usual. That's true. So the When you join us on Sunday, when we don't play until... Uh, well, yeah, when we, when we don't play until... Uh, Start, you know, we, we, we usually don't get started until after now. Sometimes you're going really deep into the night. Uh, okay, uh, Lemonade, if you're down in the caves, we are getting... Depth, we're getting a depth worm attack. Do I want an ice cream? Only if you've got vanilla. I don't want a chocolate. Not anymore? You're not in the caves anymore. Oh, good. Good for you. I am, and uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, shoot. Uh, what are these? Depth. We got depth worms and depth vipers. I don't want to do four of them, honestly. I think I'm going to run for it. You're a plant, not a warrior. I'm a warrior, but, you know, I believe in knowing when discretion is the better part of valor, so I'm going to let these guys chase me. I'm not in any part of the caves we use very often. Hey! Hutch! It's you, boy. Is this the first time we've had Hutch? It is! Hello, Hutcher! Are you... You know what? You follow me. Wait, so you went for a second chocolate ice cream because you only got chocolate. Two? Really? Have you had anything to eat today? Like, have you had any... We can clear the second branch in the ruins? Is there a second branch in the ruins? Okay, where are you guys? Okay, I see where you are, Fanatic. Okay, I'll come meet you. Or I'll meet you over uh, by our little cave base, I think. No, these don't connect. Okay, yeah. Gotta come this way. There are always two big branches. Right, right, right. Do we have a tent down here? My sanity is a little meh. In fact, I just went insane. I know we had a tent down here, but I am suspicious that it is still extant. My guess is we've used it up. Oh no, we still have one. Okay, if I can get to it without these freaking shadows. Which... Hmm. Mm 
Okay, what's the light situation here? Nope, nope, can't do it without that. Ow. Okay, all right, into the tent for me. Perfect, 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 perfect. Mm, probably should have eaten before I got in. Back for more. I just pop off my sanity and then, yeah, we can go try to try to do some ruin stuff. Can I be hit by falling stuff while I'm in the tent? Definitely be hit once you get out. But of course we knew that. Oh, dude, I tried to put the spider gland in Hutch and it healed Hutch instead. That's ducktastic. That feels like a jip. All right, fanatic. I see you're headed. Okay, I'm I'm coming your way. Lemonade, what are you up to? Are you uh, upstairs or downstairs? Plant, plant, plant. Oh, uh, fanatic has monkeys. What are you doing with these monkeys? Or are you taking them to? Arm them or something? Oh, they're throwing poop at you. I can't tell if you're trying to farm the monkeys or what. You were. Okay, well, here's the last one. Oh, you weren't? You, you did, but you weren't. All right, well, they just followed. You got it. Put some bananas in Hutch, maybe. All right, which way are we going? This way? I'm not sure where the second branch is, so I'll just follow you. Oh, right, there's the uh, sentry bot thingies, the pawns. Hmm. You don't get anything for killing those guys. Taking stuff out of Hutch. Hate that. Janu. Janu, Janut. Janet. Hello, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. You've uh, got us playing a little uncompromising mode here. Oh, 
There's gear here. Dude, there's serious gear here. What? Just stop. Uh, I keep trying to put glands in Hutch and they keep healing him. That really stinks. There's um, two Thulacite suits, a cat's eye goggles, a walking cane, backpack that has six yellow gems, three Thulacite, and four living logs in it. What is going on here? Somebody important died here. Wait, there's a... Damn. You're good. We There's a 60% uh, deconstruction staff here, too. It was us before. <laughs> yeah. That is that is clearly true. It was us before. Uh, we are also good. I'm going to call you John. We're good, John. Uh, we are... What are we doing? We're playing uncompromising mode here, which is, um, for me, quite challenging. And... Uh, we're in our second summer, so five days left, almost done with year two. We've done some things successfully. We've done some other things quite poorly, I would say. And uh, I'm shocked to discover all that we apparently left down here in the caves, in the ruins. Some boss stuff here. Opulent pickaxe. That backpack has, like, wicked loot in it, too. Like, what what might we need? Another Starcaller staff? Oh, I don't have any Nightmare Fuel. Okay, so that's the one thing. I gotta get Nightmare Fuel. But we can do that. Put the Decon in there. Um, You know, maybe the pickaxe was really valuable. How do I not know how to make a luxury axe? Right. Okay. Pick slash axe is really valuable. Like more valuable in uh, uncompromising mode than in regular. All right. Um... You hope it's nothing where you made a flag? Let me take a peek. Okay, I see where you made a flag. That feels like is where it, if there's a second branch, where it would be, though. Because there's not any space to the other side, right? John, when you are playing uh, Don't Starve Together, which I'm guessing you do, uh, who do you like to play? Oh, that's a bishop. I didn't even see that. I'll come back that way too, Fanatic. My Moggle's fuel is running low, I just really be on the lookout for something to help with that. When the monkeys rummage through Hutch, do they only take stuff out of the first slot? That would be nice. Because they are about to rummage through Hutch. One of them took my opulent pickaxe. Or a uh, uh, luxury axe. It was a luxury axe. Which I was going to use with the opulent pickaxe. Oh no! Oh no! One of them got me. Ha 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 ha! I escaped. Screw you, game. Ha ha! Defeated you. That was luck, though. Like that. Oh shit! That was super luck. Okay, how about. Yeah, let's get some real fuel. Wait. I'm overheating? Oh crap. So much problem. Need backpack. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay, okay. Armor back on. Too much at once. That's how the game gets you. Oh, now there's the second one. It was good. I'm, I want to. Oh, perfect. Even better when one was almost dead. I got lucky on that one. I lagged a little bit and I thought he was going to get me. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, okay, are you guys real? Swordfish, is that our dog? Can you go uh, bring him in, please? Since you're not in the middle of anything. I usually play with Swordfish. He's uh, He checked out of uncompromising mode a little while ago after too many deaths. Oh, no. Fanatic's dead. Ah, oh, crap. That's not good. Hmm. You'd be better. You'd be better for you to stop too. Let me come find where you were at least. Hey, 77. How's it going? How you doing today? Thank you for the hearts. Very nice. That's a nice little uh, emoji. I like that. Uh, ooh. Okay, if I try to go around there... But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. I got magic. That is a depth eel. They suck. There's a lot of them over there. Is this where Fnatic is? Where you died? And I'm getting Antlion. Yeah, you wandered into a... Your 64 plants burned lemonade? Oh. That's no good. This is more wilds. I don't know. Is this another branch of the ruins? There is that sentry pawn over here. I see why, um, yeah, I feel like wandering in here after Fnatic may have been an error. This is, uh, legit not a great place to be. Oh, they're gonna attack Hutch. They're all attacking Hutch. You could sacrifice Hutch, but he's got some good stuff inside. 77, what you up to? How are you doing today? How's your Saturday going? That... I don't know what that Triceleron, remote Tricel 2200. I don't know Triceleron. 200 IQ, is that what that emote says? That's a lot of IQ. Okay, I got baddies after me, but only one. I could take him. A little nightmare fuel could come in handy later. I still have not found Fanatic's ghost. Oh. Little wetness in the middle of summer is okay. I'm actually surprised those waterfalls are still there though. Ah, this is the second branch of the ruins. Fanatic has left the game. Did you leave or leave, or did you just are you just uh, going back up to the portal or something and you got disconnected? But this is the second branch here. The nightmares up there. See what's this way. Uh, 
Uh, the next thing that's going to be an issue for me is food. I can cook and eat them. Ooh. Okay, so that's where... This is the bishops. I got the two bishops here. Certainly not going to take them on with all those things there. I do have Thulacite suits. If I did the thing where you hit them on, you know, set them on fire, I could probably take them out. I do not have grass to make a torch, though. Ha ha ha. You just left. The second branch seems to be way too far. It is very far. I'm in it. I, If you look at the map, this is where the, the fully built pseudoscience station is. It's way past all these little branchlets with with uh, depth eels. I was going to think about taking on those two bishops, but I don't have enough grass to make a torch. And the strategy that I would use would be the, you know, whack him with a torch strategy. So I'm going to head back to safety. And then I think, yeah, unlucky ruins generation. But, you know, what do you expect on from uncompromising mode? It's all unlucky. It's all terrible. Wop wop. Maybe I will just poke around the, uh, all right, 15 seconds left before you guys turn back into not terrible creatures. I'll just run around for a little while. Four, three, two, you know, honestly, I have been giving up slowly over time. I have been giving, I've been, I've been a D modding myself. So like. Like I've taken insight and have taken it from showing me everything as soon as I mouse over to I have to actually hold down a a certain key to get the inspect um, and and uh, things like that. But one thing I have not done is taken away the ruin cycle indicator. I really like it. It it. It obviously it is a um, cheat, if you will, but I don't know. I'm it's one that I that I really like. Oh shit! If I'm not wearing my backpack, is that monkey gonna take stuff out of it? I bet he will. Grandpa sacks, they can't do that, with, right? Ah, uh, he's raiding Hutch. You jerks. Stop raiding, Hutch. Lemonade, you out? All right. You did starve, but you had more food. Oh, your, 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 your uh, plants burned. Right, 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 right. Bad luck. Bad luck. It all burned. Uncompromising mode is hard. Oh no, and now I'm insane. Okay. Yeah, I should I should head for home. Actually, I should kill this guy. There's just one of them. Kill him. Kill him before there's more. Yeah, you pick the rot. That's why I put the rot there. Ow. Oh, I'm about to run out of hunger too. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Pro gaming. Pain in one place and then hard. Yeah, that's... You got it. Pain in one place and then hard. Okay, my problem right now is food. I gotta book it, because the food I have is gonna make me insane. And I've already got this dread eye following me. And if I die when I'm the only one in here, we're going to have some uh, problems keeping the server. So I am running. But on the other hand, if I go to my map, will it pause the game? 
here. Let me just pause the game. How about that? Where am I going to find food for myself? Nowhere. There might be, there's not going to be anything in that fridge there, will there? Let's go take a look. Maybe I'll get lucky. There is a tent there, but I don't have anything to eat. Except for the monster. I can cook the monster. Oh, is this where Fnatic died? Fnatic, you died at base? That's good, at least. That dread eye is, um, yeah, the dread eye is gonna kill me. The dread eye is gonna frickin' kill me. I could sleep, I could eat. What could I do? What could I do? What could I do? I think I just gotta. I think I gotta run for the surface. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um. One thing I could do would be to light a fire, cook the monster meat, eat it real fast, and then just get in. Um, yeah. Uh, I need something to light the fire. This creep. Stop it! Stop it, you terrible, terrible creatures! Right. Wear the Thulosite armor, though, because at least that'll give me some extra protection. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The Dread Eye is the absolute just freaking killer. Okay, that helps. That helps. Now I cook this real fast. Tank my sanity. Kill this guy. Oh, it was letting me get in the tent. Okay. Lead these guys away. Run for the tent. Nope. Won't let me in. That's not what I want. It'll be... A little bit of a long shot if I manage to survive this, but that Thulosite armor that I found that the guys made at some previous time is really helping. And if I can kill this guy, Sanity could be okay. Ouch. Whoop. Woo! Okay, they're both dead. I think I made it. Honestly, this should get my health and my sanity up enough where I could actually do this cycle a couple of times. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That was cycle number one. Now let's do it again. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic. It doesn't actually turn completely off. And there's a light bulb there. That's nice. Okay, health is maxed. Uh, sanity... I'm going to let sanity go to 100. I, I don't want to go completely dark on the food. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I feel pretty good, all things considered. Oh, look, there's a little food I can eat, even. What made it back with Hutch? Yeah, some stuff. Some stuff made it back. I am out of grass. I'm out of wood. I 
do have twigs, so I can light this fire up. Enough to cook. And there is a fridge here somewhere that I can put this in. We still have the ancient key. Nice. Okay, all all things considered. All things considered, that was not a bad uh, experience here. And I think I should quit while I'm ahead, because I'm the only one... Oh, Lemonade, you're still in here. I didn't realize you were still in. Did you resurrect yourself? I thought you'd logged out. I think since Swordfish and Fanatic are both done, though, I'm going to log. Are you... You just rejoined? I'm, I think I'm going to log out. I think I'm going to log out. Uh... Because everybody else is out for the day, and we have been going three hours, which is usually when I stop anyway. This has been a fun episode, I would say. Um, challenging, but uh, fun. And uh, why don't we finish it off with raiding Eternal Grudge? Uh, she's playing in DST Sember, which I might join later on today. So let's go see her. Let's go say hi. Thank you, Fanatic. Thank you, Lemonade, for playing with us. Thank you, 77, for joining us. Uh, John Change, thank you guys for your uh, joining the chat. Hope we see you again. EJ, thank you for the quotes. Hope you're doing well. See you all later. Bye, chat.